Hi there, Jay Tedeschi, Senior Technical Marketing Specialist at Autodesk here with today's Fusion 360 Quick Tip. This one is on the select tools in Fusion's new mesh environment. Now, what I'm showing you here is that the smallest possible brush size is actually still a bit too big to edit the portion of the mesh body that I want to work on. So I'm going to basically make a couple of changes here. We're going to enable, make sure that in the select mode that see through is enabled, uh, as well as select back faces in the mesh palette. And then I'm going to uh, create a select window around this portion of the mesh. Let's go ahead and expand or grow the selected mesh, which takes the outer boundary of what's selected and uh, grows it at a rate uh, equivalent to the current brush size. Now let's go ahead and separate out these selected faces, these mesh faces, into their own body. Now the, bound, the overall bounding box of the model is what determines the smallest brush size. So by isolating this portion of uh, the mesh body, you'll note that our smallest brush size is now significantly smaller. You can also use the bracket keys, which are directly to the right on an ASDF keyboard to the uh, letter P. That allows you to dynamically increase or decrease the size of the brush. Having, you can see here the advantage of having a smaller brush. It allows me much finer uh, selection. Here I am increasing the select size. Um, on both Mac and PC, holding down the Alt key allows you to deselect selected uh, mesh faces. Double clicking in the mesh environment also allows you to select the entire open boundary um, on a mesh body. So uh, as you can see, I, I was able to select that edge and the entire perimeter of that open boundary uh, was selected at once. Um, here I am using the remesh tool to create a more uniform mesh uh, pattern uh, in, within that boundary that was selected. Uh, and then finally here I'll show you another useful tool. This is called Erase and Fill. Uh, so we're able to delete the selected mesh faces and then refill with a more uniform, uh, a more uniform mesh pattern. It's a very, very useful tool. So that's today's Fusion 360 Quick Tip. I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.